Hi everybody, so I might be being a bit early with this, but it's really quite exciting and it's easy to do and I thought anybody who wanted to give it a go might want to try and improve it. Now, in video 2198, when we looked at the spherical solar cell, then we looked at fluorescent acrylic. There's an example of one. This is a piece of acrylic filled with a fluorescent material and it acts like a light guide. It collects all the light here, bounces it around, absorbs it and re-emits it in a visible light that we can see along the edge. And that's why the edge of these things are always so much brighter. Now we want to have a look at this as being a waveguide, so what I'm going to do is turn the lights off and we'll see how that works. Okay, I've turned the overhead lights off so we can see this, and there's the reading on the meter, and here are my fluorescent panels, and let's hold them over the solar cell. <laughs> so here's my meter, here's the solar cell, let's put our fluorescent panels over and see what happens to the meter. Isn't that cool? So following that, I was asked in the comments whether there was a 3D filament that would act the same way. And to be brutally honest, I didn't know. So of course I went onto the internet and I found 1233D offering a fluorescent yellow filament. Now it didn't look like it was transparent and it didn't say it was, but I bought it anyway. And it is, and here it is. If we hold up that to the light, the light strikes this, and a bit like an optical fibre, it acts like a light guide, and you can see the fluorescence and the concentrated light coming out of the end of it. So of course, that was very promising. What we need to do now, obviously, is print something with it that will hopefully add as a light guide for our fluorescent solar cell edition. So what I did was, I printed this. This is just a triangle straight from Tinkercad, it's one of their primitives and I printed it 100% infill and I made sure that the infill was in lines and so now it's lines going in there. The idea is that I hold that section, the short face here, up to the light. The light should come in here, be reflected off of there, bounce down and hit the solar cell but it should also fluoresce at the same time. So let's give that a go. So here's my setup, meter here, silicon cell there, it's reading the ambient sunlight and voltage on the meter and of course I haven't got the block on, so let's add the block. That's the block on. And then the block back off again. And let's put the block back on. <laughs> and then back off again. And then back on, why not? That's awesome. So I thought that was really cool. We got over a 10% improvement for using this thing. And this obviously is a 90 degree uh, prism, a right angle prism. So we get total internal reflection. However, it is a big lump of plastic and it's not particularly well made. So your expectation would be putting something over a solar cell. It's going to obscure the light, but it didn't, which is really very cool. And of course, what we need to think about is making it transparent. And there are ways to make printed filaments transparent. But as I say, I got a little overexcited, so I wanted to tell you this immediately. Should somebody print this off or give it a go and try to make it transparent, it'd be brilliant if you shared that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was of help. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.